If you are a makeup artist or a content creator, this particular video is for you. Yes, because I'm making this video specially because of someone I once loved. I love her from my heart. And um, she refused to date me. She did not want me. But now she's a makeup artist and she needs help with the light. So I am making this video for her. I know she's with someone now. I'm using this time out to make this video for every other makeup artist also. So if you are a makeup artist, you must have to thank her because she's the reason for making this video. So as a makeup artist, there are this set of lights you always want to use for your videos, but don't know why you're using them because you just buy because people are buying. And if you are a content creator, same goes. So as you're watching this video, if the video is too long, please make sure you check the page for the longer one. Check Facebook, check TikTok, or check YouTube for the longer one because this video is going to help your life okay god this video is going to help your life so it depends on how you make videos for your content or it also depends on why you're making video for your content both picture and videos for photographer like me if i want to snap picture right now i don't snap based on what i see people do i snap on the best way i feel like the picture or the image is going to come out best for me as a makeup artist i like the fact that a lot of makeup artists have grown to the point where they make videos for themselves they make standard videos and they make quality videos for themselves so you will need this video to correct you on the kind of light you should get so first of all i have this light here i have this light you know why i like this light you know why i like this particular light is because it's a rechargeable light that's one then two is an RGB light. Then three is very, very light to carry around. Then four, you can still mount it in a stand because there is somewhere here that you can mount to a stand. So you can still mount it to a stand and the light is very, very bright. This would work if you don't have a backup, if you don't have somebody that will assist you with your light, you don't have someone that would help you hold your light while you do some other things you can go with this light so once you turn it on this is how bright it is jesus christ the light bright oh so it's very very bright you can use it for yourself you can tell someone to hold it you can hold it by yourself while making the kind of video you want to make because it's a very bright light and this is very very affordable once you charge it it can last you till you finish making your videos but this would not work if you're using it to as a standby light for your makeup because you cannot plug it i'm using it at the same time but it's a rechargeable light it has a type c port here that you can use in recharging it so that's for one so i would advise every makeup artist that do not have much but you want to get a light that you can travel with anytime i advise you to get this same goes to content creator you can use this you can mount it on a stand you can it also has a bracket some of these lights, the reason why I just use them like this is because they are not my main light, so I just normally don't worry about some of the accessories that come with it. The second light on my list will always be the ML60. The ML60 from Godox. I will not lie to you, this is my best travel light. When it comes to traveling, this is my best light. Before I start thinking about any light, this is my go-to light for the fact that one it is very portable once you take this off it is very small i've made several videos about this light before it is very very small very portable this can fit into my pocket so i like traveling with this light all the time anytime you see me traveling this light is on inside my bag so i don't miss traveling with this light every single time and another thing is it is very very bright and that thing is it's not too heavy another thing is once you get the s2 brackets another thing is once you get the x2 brackets you are good to go once you have this bracket with you you can put this light you can put a soft box on the light and use it to soften your image your videos very very well with this on a stand you can get what you're getting now this kind of brightness you can get it on your images for me to show you how it will be if you put it in a bracket this is exactly how it would be 
it will be like this you can now put your softbox on it and use it for both your video and your picture content the most amazing part is it is very very soft when you use it like that then apart from having it on the bracket it comes with its own stand its own handle that you can put on this part here it comes with a handle that you can place here and put it on the stand and that handle also comes with a battery plate where you can put your two you can put two of this battery and use it two of these batteries and use it without light so it's a very good light to go with but apart from that if you're that kind of person that just want to place it on the stand and face it on your model it comes with its own reflector cup it comes with its own reflector cup like this and the reflector cup works very well the images i shot in my last wedding all the images this was the light i used to shoot them so it's an amazing light it goes from warm to cool and 100 percent is very very bright so if you are that kind of person that likes your light very warm you can go with this if you want your light very cold you can also go with this the name of this light is ml60 from godox so it's a light that you need to have in your purse next on my list would be the sute photo light most of you must have seen me with this light i've also done a video of this light that the company also had to put in their youtube page without without telling me they went to use my my video without telling me so this is the sute photo rgb light it has both warm and cool this also used the ml60 the the MPF batteries. This also use the MPF batteries. All you have to do is put them by the side. All you have to do is put them by the side like this, and you are good to go. Jesus, Jesus. You put them by the side like that, and you're good to go. You mount it on the stand facing your model or whoever you want to do video or picture of. It's very very bright. It's a one light that goes all around. RGB, every color is in it and it has a remote app that you can connect from your phone same thing to the godox app you can connect the light from your phone you can control the light from your phone to any color you want to control it to warm or cool the brightness everything you can do it inside the app yes you can do everything inside the app and it's a very good light to buy as a makeup artist because sometimes you just want something colorful sometimes you want something calm this light will do every single thing that you need both for cool and warm the name of this light is the sute photo light and it's also soft it's good for both content creators and makeup artists it gives you the amount of brightness you need so the last on this particular list will be this one i know some makeup artists have already gotten this light some of you already have this light the next video i'm going to be making about makeup artists is how to place this light while making your videos some of you have amazing quality equipment but you don't have quality videos you don't have quality content this is the problem the problem is you really don't know how to use them you just buy this is this is another rgb light from sute photo it's just a brother to the previous one that i showed you this one some persons normally buy softbox for it there is a way to place a softbox but because of how soft it is makeup art is just pointy direct to whosoever they are making videos of i know that's not the best way but you cannot correct a lot of makeup artists so whatever they feel like they want to do is what they do this is another light i would advise any makeup artist to get if you cannot get the ml60 by godox you get this light it's a very good light it's very very bright it's also an rgb light it also uses the mpf batteries at this back here you can put one here put the second one here these are the control buttons behind every single light that i've shown you the three of them has control buttons at the back you can turn this light from warm to cool you can turn it to any color you want you can make it look like that light behind me that you're seeing it's an rgb light it's a very bright light it's good enough for your phone videos and your phone pictures now if i want to if i have the opportunity to get just one of the lights which of them am i going to get I'm going to get this because this is absolutely the best among them all. Why did I say it's the best? One, it will give you the best look in your images. Secondly, pointing a direct light at your subject, this particular one is always softer. And the, the light coming out of this is always better. Some of you just buy light because your friends are buying it. No, don't buy light because your friends are buying it. If you see photographers that are shooting, check well. Some of them, like even 
um, even what's the name of this guy? Even photoculture, he has about three or four of these lights in his bag, so that when he's shooting with continuous light, he will use this one. He prefers this one than the other ones. I will still tell you tomorrow that the light that is coming from here is way better. Sometimes they will tell you that this light is brighter. This light is brighter than this. But every company has how they measure their brightness. So this is supposed to be 60 wax. What I'm seeing here is a 60 wax. This is an 100 wax light. But the 100 wax here is not as bright as the 100 wax here. And the 100 wax here look better and softer. I don't know if it's because the reflector cup that comes with this is smaller. But this is way better than what you have there. So if you have money, if I want, if I would advise every anybody, I would advise you to keep your money and get this instead of getting the um, Sute photo. But if you don't have so much and you want that RGB kind of thing, go for the Sute photo because it's only coming two. There is one that is just ML60. This is ML60BI, which means it's by color. Anyone that you see, make sure you're looking for this right up that is here, ML60BI. If you're not seeing the ML60BI, that means you're buying the regular ML60. The, ML, the regular ML60 doesn't have warm. It only has the regular uh, tungsten, which is 5600. It doesn't have anything more than that. But this doesn't have an RGB. But if you're that kind of person that is very, very interested in RGB, go ahead and buy any of the Sute photo. But if you're interested in a constant 6500 white balance light that is going to make your images come out looking sweet go for the ml60 so i hope this video was helpful i hope this video has helped one or two persons to fish to to pick out the best light for the best condition for their makeup job for their content creator uh, con content creator yeah content creation job so just go for this light it might be more expensive than this other two but please get this particular one then you can get that stick light as a backup light i'll see you in my next video